In this video I will show you how to solve the following problem when you have an ASP.NET Core.NET 5 application, a new ASP.NET Core, uh, where I want to set my user files outside, outside of my project. So what you see here in my uh, in my explorer data explorer or file explorer is that you see my project is called code doku that's what we see in the uh, in the background and in the front side uh, in in the next neighbor folder I have a user files user files and there are my articles and also that stuff and also the uploaded files so this is similar to my previous applications this these are my applications and I always may uh, upload my files here so I'm uploading user content onto uh, onto my file uh, onto my folder and I don't want to have my uh, a mix of my user files to the code to the go code files where my uh, my project is in so that's my ASP.NET Core project and also the uh, the CSS files styles style files and all that stuff which is in www root so this is normally bootstrap and JavaScript and CSS and also in there is all that other stuff which is um, the project stuff and I don't want to mix both stuff to, together. So, in what we have to do in our project, this is now my uh, ASP.NET Core project. And inside there, I have to uh, first go into the startup file, startup.cs. So that's what you see here. And here in the uh, configure block, we have here the configure services and we have here the configure block and inside in the configure block we have those um, lines we have the app use static files so this is for the www root so this is for my chip uh, script files and these are my ad additional uh, lines where I uh, create a file pro provider and this file provider says, okay, my uh, uh, there should be a virtual directory uh, with the front, front slash user files. And uh, this one is mapped by a folder, which is one folder upwards. So when we have a look here on our files on the left side, these are the same what we see here inside here these are the files and I want to hop one folder upwards and take uh, a file uh, a folder which is on my next place so I always may handle those files and I may update and do all that stuff with the with my project but not with the uh, with the user files so these are always uh, splitted this is important for people when you are write uh, different applications so what we need we have to say app uh, my application use static files new uh, static file options where the file provider equals a new physical file physical file provider with a path combine my current uh, root file root path the current root path is that path is this one uh, is my root path where all my files are in my project files binary folder object folder and all that stuff and my my root path and then one folder up and then from there the user files so what you have to do you you should uh, embed these lines you will find the code on my application so uh, you can copy, cut and copy these uh, files, uh, the code from uh, for my for, um, definition uh, for my website. And then, in the controller, when we have when we jump to the controller, here here is my www root. So this is also stuff from my uh, br uh, project in here. When we jump to the controller, inside the controller, uh, I only need 
that stuff in we have uh, normally here at the init this is the init and with the uh, asp.net core uh, .NET 5 we have the iWeb host environment uh, before this in ASP Core 1 and 2 it was iHost environment so this is the same one uh, with the unders uh, underscore hosting environment and this is uh, its um, uh, injection and the injection is simply dropped in here so this is injection hosting environment hosting environment goes there and says okay uh, when you open when you start with the controller you have now my application path uh, where my content is in so after this you may say here uh, you get here the uh, content root folder where is the content root path and the uh, web root path so this is these are the files www root and all that stuff so simply uh, expand your init or your article uh, your controller when it's cre created with this uh, hosting environment that's default and then when you you only need that uh, that stuff when you're uploading or do some uh, file modifications on the file modification you have to do the following you go there and say as soon as you need a system um, as, as soon as you want to modify files then you say okay give me my path so my path is my current root, root path and my user files are uh, one level up so I said okay take my current path from there uh, take all what you have there and take the last index so this is from this is if I have my web kodoku kodoku jump one up and then append the folder user files so what we have then is my, all my stuff and then I have a folder which is called user files and then inside there articles and images and then so that's the combination now I have a string which is, which is called path for uploading files uh, and now we would say wait 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 uh, we go on with uh, working and then as soon as you uh, work with your stuff you will say system io file dot exists so when you say file dot exists and check for this file for the new folder uh, the user files so I'm asking my system to grab something out of my project files so this is outside my project outside there so we have a, a folder next by and now this all that stuff works after this you may write something and now I do first one uh, one run we are running our project I'll show you how it works so uh, I have here a folder and when I go in there and say uh, do something and now I say uploading a file so I'm uploading a file uh, let's do what what do, are we having here so this make make a f an image by that and on the right side I will check my user files when we go there now I will start the upload I start, start say start this one or some other other files these tools and when we upload it we will see that they were appended here on my folder which is uh, next to my uh, default my project folder now I'm closing it and now I have that stuff in my user application on my, that's my on my front end and then the data next to there so and one further point on here when you when you have your files I'm scooting I think this when we check for that stuff you will see this is my image is is my source file then comes my application so this is my application 
And in my application, I simply say user files. So this is front slash user files. So this is, it works like a subdirectory. Subdirectory and then everything is the same. So you have the, uh, the file access from the uh, physical file uh, access and then also the, uh, the client side file access, the address there. So, and as always, you find my code here on my website. The link will be below the video. So you see here my files. You will see how to handle uh, the hosting event, get the ho hosting environment, and then modify your path or simply make a string by that string with this, uh, with this backslashes. And then you will say, uh, then it, it will work as with anything like this system IO file or when you create an image or something like this. And on the front side, you have the simply uh, using the front slash and then uh, work. it works like a file directory. Uh, and that's all what you need. And here is f from the startup CS, simply also drop those lines in your application. And be careful, there's one times app use static files and there's another use static file. So the first one is for WW root and the second one is for adding a new file, uh, a new folder. Uh, 